The preacher man says it's the end of time. The Mississippi River is going dry. The interest is up, the stock market's down. You only get mug if you go downtown. Alright, so I'm going to give this another try here and see how it goes. I tried this the other day and uh, the audio never recorded. And I'm going to assume that's my fault. I can't rightly blame it on anybody else. All right, it's my fault. It didn't record, so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, first uh, comment here, you got some knowledge on... The crystal gram like IHS or XPS thanks for your work now, I don't know anything about crystal grams from what I understand IHS is uh, a, the Greek the first three letters of the Greek word Jesus and XPS would be the first three letters of the Greek word Christ I'm not sure that's if I'm I might be missing misinformed I'm not sure but what, what I don't understand is, okay, so why why abbreviate the name Jesus? I mean, if it was the Lord Supercalifragilisticexpedaliosis, I would say, yeah, let's abbreviate that because, you know, after a while, uh, you know, let's, a, let's find something a little bit shorter. But we're talking about Jesus. What's the need to abbreviate Jesus? IHS is more syllables than Jesus. I don't understand any of it, but it is a Catholic thing, so I don't really, that's probably why I don't care. I don't know anything about that stuff, but I do appreciate the, the question, comment. And here we go, uh, truth sets you free. He's asked me this a couple times, and I've tried to answer this, and I'll try it <clears throat> one more time, and I'll try to be blunt about it. What do you think about the thing they want you to get all right so the thing is the coronavirus covid19 vaccine all right so what do i think about it well i was asked this the other day and i was asked by somebody in my family they and they said <clears throat> they said have you gotten the vaccine yet I'm like yeah yeah have i gotten it yet as if I was gonna get it, but I just haven't. Get, you know, I've been had all this paperwork and stuff I had to do, and you know, I got some clothes I need to fold, and I just ain't got around to it. And you know, I got I got to you know rake the yard, and I just ain't got time. Just so doggone busy, I ain't got time to get the vaccine. No, that's not that's not how it is with me. If you have to ask me that question, you don't know me at all. Have I gotten it yet? No, I haven't gotten it yet. And the only way I'm going to get it is if they come to my house, they chop off my head, and then they stick the needle in my arm. That's the only way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if somebody else wants to get it, I'm not going to condemn them for it. That's just how I feel, right? It's your body, your choice, whatever you want to do. That's your business, right? It's not my business if you want to get it. And I don't condemn anybody for it. I mean, if you want to wear a mask while you're driving down the road in your own vehicle and nobody else is in the vehicle with you, that's okay. That's all right. I mean, yeah, I might snicker, but maybe you're snickering at me. What do I know? Right? Who cares? It's your body, your choice. Right? So your business, so it's not my business. So that's my opinion. I don't, <clears throat> uh, you know, condemn anybody for getting it. I'm not going to get it, period. I don't come hell or high water. I ain't getting it. I'm all in, not getting it. And I'm curious. Uh, it, I mean, it, it, to me, people, there was also another uh, gentleman a while back that asked me. Uh, and... I explained it to him this way. I said, look, you know, when I was growing up, when I was a kid, I was, uh, you know, I smoked marijuana. I did cocaine. I did LSD. I did crystal methamphetamine. 
but never once did I stick a needle in my arm. You know, now that I'm 50 and I don't do any of that, so I'm not about to begin now. I'm not about to start putting needles in my arms. And <clears throat> he didn't take that very well. And, uh, so uh, things got weird after that, but that's just my viewpoint. I'm not doing it, period. Uh, you know, okay, so let's look at a couple of things here. Might as well get into this. Just it, This is just going to be another minute. I didn't want to spend too much time on here. So, uh, for example, I don't know how to spell, right? I should have paid better attention when I was in school. All right, so here we got three examples of Jesus saying, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. So if you're not sick, why are you going to see a physician? So uh, unless it's an absolute emergency and people are dragging me to the hospital, I'm not going to the hospital. I just imagine this crazy scenario where hospitals are now designed to make you sick, to keep you sick, and then they have the power uh, of choice of whether you live or die. <clears throat> and they can all do it under the, the disguise of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, coronavirus or, you know, say, um, you know, cancer, those sorts of things. And they could start uh, hooking you up to machines and they can start giving you medications and they can start you know, doing all these sorts of weird things on you. Uh, yeah, I mean, how, how would I know? I don't know what they're doing. I really don't know what they're doing. If I'm sick, if I get the flu, all I need is some chicken noodle soup and a 7-Up, and I'm good, right? Get me a Lifetime movie, and I'm set. I'm, I'll be okay. You know, uh, I just I just don't trust anything. That's I don't trust none of it. That's just me, though. If you want to go... Put all your faith and trust in those hospitals. Okay, that's that's on you. That's I'm not going to condemn you for it. That's not how I am, and I'm not. I don't care. I don't care. I'll I'll be the first one that dies of uh, you know. I'll be dead of uh, in my own home of uh, the coronavirus and cancer and lupus and AIDS and all that all at the same time. I'm not getting treatments for it. Period. All I need is a bottle of aspirin, and like I said, uh, you know, some chicken noodle soup and 7-Up, uh, and I'm, I got all this healing stuff that I need. That's just me. I'm different than probably everybody in the world. That's just how, that's my opinion, right? Let's see, what was that one verse I wanted to share here? Oh, medicine's only used four times in the entire Bible. That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's see. Jeremiah 46, go up into Gilead and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. So without getting into the context of that, I think that statement or that verse is uh, pretty remarkable, in my opinion. In vain shalt thou Thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. Think about all the medicines that those doctors want to give you. All right, so it's your choice, and you know better than I do. For me, the only medicine I use is aspirin, the old kind, not the new kind, the old kind, the cheap kind, right? Uh, I don't know what they're he what you know, what these medicines say, what they're doing. So, I, I'm not, I don't want, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm going to die at an early age. Okay, that's all right. At least I believe in Jesus Christ. I'll be okay. I'm just not putting any trust in those doctors, in those medications, none at all. All right? So, that's just my thought. That's just my opinion. Um, and I guess I'll leave you with one, one other thing here. If we go, if I, what is it, Genesis 3? Let's see if I can remember something this morning. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has God said, 
Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. So now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. More subtle than any beast of the field. All right, so if we went to, uh, uh, I don't know. Can I, let me think about this a second. Uh, I can't think of, no, no, I remember. Hold on, hold on. Just curious about something here. I don't know if you've seen these guys on the side of hospitals and on the sides of ambulances. And um, it's the staff of Hermes. All right. So I, I gotta tell you what, some people really got mad at me years ago when I talked about this stuff. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna find the images that I want. There's one right there. All right, so you've seen these. You've seen these. Um, if you notice there, right, you've got you got a snake right there. You got a snake that is on all these hospitals and all these ambulances. Why? Why? It, I, the explanation I was given. Well, it's the you know it's a Greek religion thing. You know old old thing, old Greek thing or something or what have you. I don't know. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It, it, it's not a Christian thing, right? So why are you worshiping other, you know, religions that nobody else is? I mean, this is America. Who in the world is worshiping this imaginary religion or this at very best old time religion? And we're Christians and in the Christian religion, I mean, we're America, right? Land of the free, home of the brave. Uh, thank God for America, right? Uh, and then here in Genesis 3, the serpent is more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God has made, right? So yeah, to me, I'm awfully suspicious of anything with a snake on it. I don't like snakes. Never liked them. All right. So. That's just my opinion. I don't care for snakes. Don't like them. And now I want to leave you with this. Think about this for a second. In the very beginning, when the serpent was in the garden. All right. And so he introduced Adam and Eve to uh, basically sin. Uh, so, because he tricked Eve into eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. All right. So, that was the first strike, the first attack on man. And then I believe the final strike on mankind will be the serpent's bite. Right? So, what are, what are the snakes most feared for it's a snake bite and people you know are obviously uh, uh, for me i don't want a snake to bite me poisonous or not poisonous but if a poisonous snake bites you he can get you right and it's very dangerous uh in particular uh certain parts of the country so that's just brilliant a guy biting a snake so the point is that I, my opinion is the final strike on mankind will be the snake trying to bite us. Uh, in other words, the snake is going to try to sink his teeth into the skin of man via vaccines.